Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring you my 2019 studio tour. So here is an overview of the studio standing in the doorway. You can see a behind the scenes of making this studio in a video I will link above. So let's get started. So over here I have a studio light already set up. I like to leave that one set up in case I ever need it. I have a second one over here that is folded up um, that I can bring out if I need a second one. I have my paint display that I made. Um, these hold my Sheen Han set of watercolors. And I have a second one over here for my Mission Gold watercolor set. Next to that, I have a um, grid display that I can hang things up that I will need next to my computer. So this is just a color chart I have for the sheen hands that match my paint palette. This is an illustration I created for Inktober. If you want to watch that video, I can link that above. I have my glove for my iPad to do digital art. I have a sketchbook and just a pad of paper for notes and ideas. I have a couple pencils in this little container, a pen, um, an eraser, the switch for my fairy lights, and just some extra clips to hang stuff on my grid. So above my Mission Gold watercolor paints then, I have a gift that was given to me by my boyfriend. He made this for Christmas last year. Down here I have my iMac computer that I got, actually not my main computer. This is actually my main computer out here, it is a custom built PC that my boyfriend helped me build and we have it attached into to a 65 inch TV out in the living room because we also play games and virtual reality. We have an HTC Vive and I do most of my editing work on this because it has Premiere Pro on it. This white table from Amazon and I have it set up in front of a window to look out into the backyard which has some snow right now. I have my Canon Rebel T6i camera that I normally shoot with. I'm recording this video with the GoPro Hero 7 that I recently purchased. Here is my main watercolor palette of the Sheen Hand Professional set. Underneath I have a trash bin and then a power strip that actually has USBs at the end of it and that is so handy. Highly recommend. Next to my desk I have my art card that I absolutely love. And in the top part I have all my brushes and useful tools. I have a zipper pouch that holds some of my um, Pigger Micron and waterproof ink pens. I have two of the Pink Prima marketing uh, paint sets. I have the Tropical set and then the Pastel Dream set, which I made a video about. I have my favorite Fine Tech metallic watercolors. And this is a new set that I just purchased and haven't opened yet. This is my Mission Gold palette, which I believe I also haven't really used um, too much yet. And so I have a color chart for that as well. Underneath that, I just have some paper towel and some scrap paper um, to swatch out paints. I have um, some, this is some masking fluid, salt, some tape. I have a couple sponges, some erasers. This is a 3D printed paintbrush 
reversible paintbrush holder that my boyfriend 3D printed for me. I have some inks, waterproof inks in here, and a white ink. I have some woodless colored pencils, and then underneath that I have um, some Reeves gouache and some Arteza gouache, which I also did a first impression video of. On the bottom tier, I have some acrylic paint, some pens and razor, box cutter openers, um, some scissors, tape, little jars for water and to paint, acrylic paint brushes, got a bunch of those, um, some plastic packaging that I thought would be handy to keep for paint, and then this is a um, case that has more acrylic paint brushes in there. So that's my part. I have a light next to it that is adjustable for the brightness. And then I have my bookshelf. So at the top, I didn't really know what to put, so I just have um, a peony candle that smells really pretty. This is mainly um, sketchbooks. Then I have um, a stack of paper, which is mostly watercolor mixed media paper. I have my light pad, which is very handy. Did a video on this. This is just my basic office printer, nothing um, fancy. And it also does scanning as well. Down here, I have a basket that holds some cords, electronics, some GoPro stuff, headphones, cables. I have a watercolor board um, to take watercolor paper to. I have some larger paper that wouldn't fit on the shelf above. This is the Epson um, scanner that I haven't set up yet to scan artwork in. This is a plastic um, paint palette for acrylic paint. Down here on the bottom shelf is a collection of all my art books, which I plan on doing a more in-depth video on in the future. And when I do have this complete, I will link it above for you to watch. And my super big sketchbook that I attempted the sketchbook slam challenge and was not able to complete that. That was hard to do. Then over here, I have a side table. I got this Cricut Explore Air 2 for Black Friday. I'm super excited to unpack this and test out making stickers. I will probably do a video on that. Um, just some paper, label paper to test out making stickers on. I have my tripod over here for my camera when I want to film. Above that is a painting that was a gift from a friend of my two dogs. Aren't they so cute? And then over here in the corner, these were previous um, storage I had in my first studio tour when I didn't have a lot of room. Right now it's kind of just um, put in the corner. I don't really have quite a use for it yet in this space. And then I have a turquoise lamp over here that's not plugged in yet because I haven't found a spot for that. So that, I hope to have a printer around Christmas time to do art prints. So I'll have a nice art print and then the Cricut and that'll be that space. Then over on this wall, I have a closet that is shared with my boyfriend. And inside there is a ton of stuff, um, things I didn't have room for, some extra equipment, computer parts because he works on PCs, um, so my camera parts, I have sewing stuff, um, I have some canvases over here, so this is kind of a catch-all closet. And last but not least, this is my art print wall. They are other artists and YouTubers that I follow. This one right here in the middle is by my YouTube friend, Emma Butcher. We did a Christmas collaboration uh, a couple years ago and she had sent me this piece and I sent her a piece of art. She lives in Australia. So it was fun to send a piece of art across the world to her. Down here is also another YouTube friend, What You Drawing. We also did a collaboration uh, with Studio Ghibli ATC cards, and then she kindly sent a couple others, and I love how detailed her little cards are. 
This one is by Leilani Joy. It's one of her older pieces of art that I grabbed. I think she may have actually discontinued um, this print. This is by a relatively local artist to my area. Her name is uh, Tracy Lysot. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel, but I will find her information and put it in the description below. And then over here, this piece is by Jacqueline De Leon. She is one of my favorite watercolor YouTube artists. She also did this piece up here. This piece was made by Happy D Artist. She is a oil painter on YouTube. And then over here is a collaboration I did with Kelsey Yurkow. We did a Zodiac Tarot card collaboration uh, a year or so ago. So I recommend you check out all these amazing artists. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this studio tour. If you enjoy more art videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!